is the highest rated show in all of cable television. This is Monday Night Raw. The following contest is a tables, ladders, and chairs match. And it's for the WWE Hardcore Championship. He's here! Introducing the challenger from Capitol Hill, Washington, D.C. Weighing in at 227 pounds, the Batine Dream. Intoxicating, mesmerizing. Guys, here is a man who is going to be a true superstar in our business. He has it all in ring skill, he's got charisma, and he's got great hair. I fully expect Velveteen to be bald next time I see him after hearing you say that, Saxton. Good point, Corey. Velveteen wants nothing to do with the likes of you. Just saying. D-R-E-A-M. Velveteen Dream just soaking in every ounce of the moment. Everything about this guy is money. What a superstar. What an entrance. It's, it's mesmerizing. It's intoxicating. What is he doing? Anything he wants. He's the dream. Appreciate greatness, Byron. What a huge man! Take the weight, baby! Take the weight! Introducing the champion from Superior, Wisconsin, weighing in at 330 pounds. He is the WWE Hardcore Champion. You know, I was trying to have a conversation Corey with this guy Corey earlier, Corey. but I don't speak meathead. Oh, don't worry, Corey. I can teach you. Oh, this Dozovic is as wide as he is tall. Oh, this Dozovic is fired up. I like it. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Nailed it. Leave a mark. Close line. Well, oh, that'll leave a mark. Uh oh. What a stomp! Good grief! Big headbutt. Oh, look at that. Deconstructing the knee there. Drop down. Devin 
devastating kick. Watch this. Oh. As we say in the trade, guys, the monitor area in the locker room is likely sold out for this one, as there are plenty of superstars with a vested interest in the outcome of this match. To Byron's point, there are several competitors on the roster who can make a case for being the next in line for a title opportunity. However, a lot of that, of course, depends on the outcome of this match here tonight. So with that in mind, regardless of their personal feelings, you'd have to think the locker room is rooting for the champion here tonight. The last thing they want to do is to have to wait even longer while the champ's rematch clause kicks in. Headbutt to the back of the neck. Oh, oh, oh. oh boy, he is rolling. I know anything is possible, but I just can't envision a new champ being crowned here tonight. The champ just comes into tonight with too much momentum. Dodges that one. Champ not looking good right now. Well, he knew this was going to be a fight heading into this one. He's doing exactly what he didn't want to do here. He's letting his opponent go right back into this match. Byron, I agree that the champ comes into tonight with a great deal of momentum, but like you said, anything can happen. We've seen champs get upset in the past. Who's to say it can't happen again here tonight? Agreed. I don't think anybody expected Eddie Guerrero to defeat him. Oh, what impact! This could be it! Velotine Dreams just getting overwhelmed! Bringing it back between the ropes. We've seen this before. Ring rattling. What's he going to do now? Jeez, I felt that one over here. A big fight field inside this arena here tonight for this huge championship match. And so far, I'd say these competitors have brought their A games. Here we go. The champ starting to falter a bit. And you have to wonder how much more the champ has to give. The bottom line here is that despite what's going on right now, he's still in much more favorable health than his opponent. Oh boy, he is rolling. Here he comes. Here he goes. Dream just barely got out of the way. Otis Dozovic got out of there in time. Nice job getting out of the way of that one. Now he... Uh, These athletes seem to have tried everything in their playbook. Oh, there's more in their arsenal, I promise you that. I don't know what it is, but they'll find it. The champion is victorious. That match deserves another look. Here we go. Check them out here. I really enjoyed every minute of this. Here is your winner, and still, WWE Hardcore Champion, Otis Josephic.
Cruiser away. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, Pete Dunn. I am so excited to see Pete Dunn make it to this level because this guy is going to be a star, a major star. An unmatched mean streak when it comes to WWE superstars. Pete Dunn knows so many ways to hurt you, and he enjoys each and every one of them. Almost a, a sick, twisted pleasure that Dunn derives from the opportunity just to, just to hear his opponent scream and wail in pain. They talk about having it, Corey. This kid has it. Intangible, the skill set, the entitlement. Pete Dunn believes everything belongs to him, and he'll take it forcibly in the ass to. I like this kid. Bright, bright future for this young man. And his partner, from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bay. At 19 years old, he won the first ever WWE United Kingdom Tournament and the championship. There's no questioning the incredible in-ring ability, though, of Tyler Bain. I mean, he's gained worldwide experience. He's turned a lot of heads all throughout the WWE Universe. A very unique style in the ring. A mixture of Japanese strong style, British cat wrestling, with his own very unique gentlemanly flair. Some superstars you just look at, you just feel like they're, they're destined for big things. And you gotta feel that way when you see a guy like Tyler Bate.
Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. All the budding tag teams out there hoping to one day make it to the big stage. Better be watching this match with a notepad in hand because you can bet this is going to be a lesson in how it's done. If Pete Dunne is one thing, it's tenacious. The Bruiserweight's natural instinct is to always attack his opponent. The assaults that follow are devastating to a superstar's well-being. Forget about winning or losing the match. And Pete Dunne's finisher is appropriately named Saxton. When a superstar gets dropped with the bitter end, they are not getting up. Oh. Leg sweep. Nicely done. Hooked up. This might be it. Oh, my. Got the shoulders down. Easily kicks out of that one. Not yet. He's on the defensive here. Headed into this match, he and his partner look extremely confident. The beauty of tag team competition is that he doesn't need to take the entire brunt of the opposition's attack. Though the thought of making a tag doesn't necessarily appear to be on his mind right now. Tag made. What's in store here? Rob Toehold. Oh, and Enziguri. Nailed it. Outrageous athleticism on the Hurricanrana. Ambrose starting to struggle now. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly Ooh. if he doesn't mount an offense soon. Sure, he's taking some punishment here, but given how much he prefers to be on the outside of the ring, he can very well change the outlook of the match with one shot. You never want to count a competitor out, but things don't seem to be going in his favor here tonight. Back now inside the ring. Boom, right in the button. He's left wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. This is about to get bad. Oh, fringe. What a close line. This could be the turning point, Cole. Irish whip. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Harsh impact. No, there's the reversal. Look! Well, look into your modeling career. This is all but over. And there's a kick out at one. He's got some more fight in him, guys. Look at Tyler Bates. Beautiful technique. Victory is on the horizon. We've got a cover. The pin's broken up. Ambrose, bang, dirty deeds. He might just win this thing right here. And he kicks out. It's going to take more than that. Dean Ambrose has his eyes on his target, folks. Boom, what impact! I'm not sure how much he has left. All that's left now is for Dean Ambrose to finish. Somebody get the hose. This guy's on fire. And Ambrose is rolling now, Michael. Leg is hooked. Here we go. Perfect plex. Here's his chance to win this. He's going for the pin. Real nicely done. I can't believe he's in this. Nice kick out. Here's Dean Ambrose in position now. The lunatic fringe has him right where he wants him. Yes! That's what he was looking for, Michael. How is Tyler Bate? He goes for the cover. Double axe handle smash. Oh, and the ref gets taken out. What's he made of? Paper mache? You gotta believe this one's over. Uh -oh. Oh, what impact. Shoulders down, is it enough? 
And Tyler Bate easily getting the shoulder up. Too soon. Uh-oh. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's looking oh, right in the face. Destroyed. What a comeback. He's got the shoulders down. Two. A kick out after one. Still too fresh. Showing off some of his speed there. And it's Ambrose showing some agility. Comes up big with the reversal. Oh, nasty impact. Look out, he's almost there. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. What a hurt, Karana. He's calling for it. He wants it one more time. There's a pin now. Baron Corbin, no problem getting out. Way too early. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Heart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. Boom! Good night. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have until... Here we go. This might be it. Oh, my. Can he end it here? Ooh, no luck against Dunn there. Too quick. What is Baron Corbin's best strategy at this point? His hopes of winning this tag team after starting to dwindle. He's looked great up until now, and it's imperative that he doesn't lose focus and let his opponent back into this match. Boom, what impact! With the damage sustained by Dunn, he could be on his way out. He needs to find a way to create some space or else this thing's over. That's over at this point. The Bruiserweight is going to have a tough time punching his way back into this. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. X-Plex, man. But can he follow up here? This could do it. Two. And he kicks out. Going to take more than that. Corbin just too fast for him. Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. No way. That's the end of days. Here's his moment, Michael. He's got him covered. What is keeping this competitor going? Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Devastating elbow. Aaron Corbin just too fast for him. I understand Dean Ambrose's psychological tactics. That doesn't mean I like them. He's taken down. You know, I don't think he has much left. 
We've arrived. It's about time for the bitter end. Wow. And he goes for the pin. Two. Wow, the ref got hit hard there. He may not get back up, Cole. Keep your eye on this one. Wow. Can't believe Dean Ambrose got out of that one. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. He's making a statement here with this attack. Beautiful technique. Aaron Corbin just too fast for him. Too quick for him there. Going to X-Flex, man! That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. You can just see it in his eyes. Ambrose is psychotic. Toss to the outside. Another great tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. Ooh, what impact. I don't know how much more damage one person can take. I don't care how tough you are. Back in from the floor. Man, what a light drop. This is not exactly the area you want to be in. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. These athletes seem to have tried everything in their playbook. Oh, there's more in their arsenal. I promise you that. I don't know what it is, but they'll find it. Long distance drop. Oh boy, he's got him down. This is it. Barely at two and a half. Gonna take more than that. Ooh, what an up. Look at him. <laughs> this might be the end of Corbin. I don't know if Corbin can recover. I hate to agree with you, but you're right. He can end it here. He's got him. Two. How does he keep doing this? How did he do that? We know what this means. Harsh impact to think. I almost wrote him off earlier. He can end it here. Knee drop. He wants to do this in the ring. Baron Corbin is giving the crowd a show, but he needs them. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Ooh. This is a tough spot to find yourself in, that's for sure. But if anybody could break free from this, it's... Oh! Baron Corbin with authority. He's one of those guys that gets going and it's hard to stop it. Bringing it back into the ring. Reverses that one. And what a reversal from Baron Corbin. Here we go a second time. Now this one is over. Dean Ambrose tags in. And he goes for the pin. Two, three. A win like that says a lot about a duo. Now let's look back at that amazing action. Man, this looks great. This was another great moment. Check them out here.
and here's the last piece of the puzzle. Here are your winners, the Ambrose and Baron Corbin. And there's your winner, the Pinball. Now that's having a game plan and executing it to perfection. Matches like that are the reason why I love this job so much.
The Miz Taraj, they were pretty cool hanging out with The Miz. And what is the B team? Man, they pick things up. Listen, it's not about how the world sees you. It's how you see yourself. And the B team sees themselves as the best. That explains a lot coming from you, Saxton. I think these two are ungrateful. They should be embarrassed to show their faces after betraying the Miz, who benefited them like no one else in their careers. Oh, stop being a jealous Judy. Adam Cole is here with one thought in mind to shock the system. One of the young guns in NXT. Very impressive lately. I don't know where Adam Cole gets the nerve in thinking he can come in and take it once. Saxton, he doesn't just want to take everything. Adam Cole wants to rule the entire industry. The Bo Dallas we see now is much different than the individual who debuted in WWE in 2014. For someone challenging Bo Dallas today, they need to be ready to square off against a vicious individual. What Bo Dallas has shown us is that he's willing to take out anyone at any time. An opponent must be ready for anything once they've been identified as Dallas's opponent. I mean, before they even get in the ring. He's not looking good here. This very well may be too much for him to handle. He has to be feeling helpless in there right now. Nothing seems to be going right for him tonight. Change the entire NXT landscape. We'll just ask Drew McIntyre and the other losers who've fallen victim to Adam Cole. Somebody got hops. Back now inside the ring. We may have a count out here, guys. It certainly looks that way, Michael. Look at Bo Dallas. That was the Bo Dazzler. This is all but over. Bo Dallas just changed the momentum of this match.
Bo Dallas is starting to tire a bit. It appears his opponent has his number right now. A tale of two different superstars in this match right now. One looks like he can take on the world, while the other looks Man. completely battered. Nailed it. You only got one. Make the last shot count. Got every out. And here we go. Adam Cole with the cover. Nobody's surprised. Adam Cole is still undisputed for a little while longer. Alludes that one. Oh boy, he is rolling. Close line. Fontango gets tagged in. change here. He's too quick for him there. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. He's looked oh, go with the spinning heel kick. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Drop kick! Superstar takes advantage of their ring position. Such a high ring IQ. Oh, he turns it around. That's Adam Cole showing some agility. That's Adam Cole showing some agility. And the instinct from Fandango on display. This could be all she wrote. Beautiful technique. I'm not sure how much he has left. Look at this. <laughs> this guy's a competitor. He's not going down yet. Not yet. With a 180, Bo Dallas the reversal. Wow, talk about knowing where you're at at all times. Go by impact. And he's able to get the shoulder up. Not yet. Ooh, what impact. Eight a pin attempt. And Kyle O'Reilly is your winner. Now let's take a look back at some of the great action. He's getting after it here. Man, this was great. Look at him go. And I always enjoyed watching him perform. Here are your winners. Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly, Bobby Finn, and Roderick Strong. The undisputed era. Now that's an eye-opening victory. 
That's a big win right there. Anytime you can pin another WWE competitor shoulders to the mat for a three count, you should be proud. against The Undertaker, a superstar needs to realize that they're rolling the dice with their career. The Dead Man's the most fierce, pure striker our business has ever known, and is just waiting to make another opponent famous. Oh, man, this is going to be great. Every WWE oh, yeah. competitor is spectacular to watch, but when The Undertaker competes, it's an event. Well, he's got the most awe-inspiring entrance in WWE history and has the in-ring dominance to back it up. Max Handle finds the mark. Oh, repeated kicks. Uh 
Uh-oh. to WrestleMania 34, we had no evidence of The Undertaker making an appearance, and despite desperate attempts by John Cena to bait him, the dead man remained in the darkness until the very last second. Samoa Joe looking a little startled right now, but not for a second do I expect him to back down now. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet, Cole. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. You're calling WrestleMania 34, Michael. You said The Undertaker waited to the last second. For a long time, we were left to wonder if we had seen the last of The Undertaker in a match. We wondered if John Cena would get away with not only questioning the mystique of the Phenom, but also questioning his manhood. But if his career is tall, it's anything, it's that the dead man will continue to emerge when we least expect it. Bravado made way for fear rather quickly inside of Cena, once he heard that gong echo through New Orleans. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh boy, he is rolling. <laughs> Double axe handle smash. Uh-oh. Go for the run. Oh, slam! He's really looking to prove a point here. He's got the shoulders down. And a kick out at two. Not yet. Here we go. The Undertaker is setting it up. Oh my good tombstone! Pile driver. No doubt about that one. Samoa Joe is getting overwhelmed. And no luck against Joe there. Uh-uh. Incredible! Can he end it here? Undertaker kicks out with ease. Not yet. Samoa Joe is looking to end this thing. Kohina Clutch! Kohina Clutch! Kohina Clutch! This one's over, Byron. But he's got to capitalize now. Great job breaking the hold there. Good thing, too. That could have been ugly, Michael. Will he be victorious? And The Undertaker with a quick kick out. Nice. Gonna take more than that. Wow, can't believe The Undertaker got out of that one. Well, Nelson, Dragon Suplex. If I was Joe, I'd stick to performing and stop the showboat. And no luck against Joe there. Uh-uh. Shoulder tackle. With the damage sustained by Undertaker, he could be on his way out. He's absolutely running on fumes right now. Let's remember, though, guys, his opponent doesn't seem to be in great shape either. Look at Samoa Joe just messing with his opponent's head right now. He could do it here. And Undertaker kicks out. And barely. Over the years, we've come to expect these bursts of greatness from him. Elbow drop, big time! Uh-oh, uh-oh! A long way up! Oh my God! That's what he was looking for, Michael. Everybody likes a showman, but I think Samoa Joe might be taking it a little too far here. He wants no part of the outside.
Whoa, the Undertaker dodged that one. He's capable of turning it on, but he's got to make sure he doesn't fade fast. Here's Samoa Joe. Boom, what impact. You simply can never count. He's got him covered. One, two, and he's able to get out. Man, oh, man. Forearm right to the jaw. Stunned him. The Undertaker knows every game there is, including mind games. Whoa, the Undertaker dodged that one. Close line. Oh, that'll leave a mark. Whoa, the Undertaker dodged that one. Definitely not where you want to be right now. Gotta find a way to get out of this, Michael. Oh, damage to the body. He wants no part of the outside. Hooked up. Goodness, that hurt the shoulder. Oh boy, he is rolling. His shoulders are down. Two. Oh, how resilient was that? How'd he do that? And no luck against Joe there. Uh-uh. And it's the Undertaker able to break free. good ever comes to this. You are absolutely right, Michael. Nailed it. Here it comes. He's got him. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Clutch. This one's over, Byron. We may be looking at our winner here, guys. He had it locked up and made his opponent tap out. That match deserves another look. Here we go. This was another great moment. Can't believe this. Highlight for one superstar, low light for another. And last but not least, here is your winner, Wow, that tap came quick and off. The dead man has just been buried. Undertaker lost, and I can't believe it. Boy, I don't think we're going to have too many disappointed viewers at all. Not with action like we just saw. Big-time singles matches on deck here, and Byron, what should we expect to see here tonight? Well, given the shape these superstars appear to be in here tonight, I fully expect to see one of the most competitive matches we've seen in a very long time.
These guys are scary! They're frightening! And they're dominant! Singles action is underway, Ouch. and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. The monster among men doesn't ask for permission, nor ask for forgiveness. He simply destroys whatever lays in his path. Braun Strowman is a leviathan, Saxton. And sports entertainment has never experienced brute force like this from one human being. Right across. Faltering some, but he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. Oh. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point, but that can obviously all change here. Two. Oh, wow. drop kick! Three. He's not looking like himself here. He came into this match expecting a fight, and that's exactly what he's getting. Yeah, but he's got a very untraditional approach tonight, which includes spending a great deal of time outside the ring. That might help him in the long run. We'll see. We see more motivated yeah. than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him. Guys, it's imperative he gets back in the ring. Yeah, otherwise he's looking at a countout. Strowman dodged that one. Ooh, what impact. And Braun Strowman's definitely doing what he can to get the psychological edge. Uh-oh, look at this. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh, man. Back suplex. Oh no! Face first. But did he go for it too early? Harper, big discus lariat. That was nasty. No doubt about that one. And a kick out at two. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. He's always had the ability to take it up a notch. He's too quick for him there. Counter here. He gets it with a reversal. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. Clothesline. 
Whoa, Strowman dodged that one. Look at this. New attempt, what a press. Have you ever seen a human being tossed like that? Looks like he's starting to tire. He'll need to find a way to turn things around here. Oh, man, his chances are dwindling quickly. He's just taking on so much punishment. Strowman is taking no prisoners right here. The monster among men picks his opponent up. He's barking about something now. This is uncalled for. Harper, big move, oh, close line. But he's got a cap. Here's the cover. You're watching Raw, the longest running weekly episodic television program in history. What's he doing? Uh, going to the top, high risk. Look at this. Things are not looking very good right now. Gonna have to find a way to regroup. He turns it around. Elbow! We got a cover. Gets the shoulder up. Wow. What's it going to take? He needs to change something fast, guys. Boom! Running STO plants him. Nicely done. Oh boy, he is rolling. Boom! Back suplex. Oh no! Boom! Face first. I don't remember the last time I saw Strowman man hit. Will this be enough? Nash deserves another look. Here we go. Highlight for one superstar, low light for another. Man, this was great. Almost forgot about this one. And here's the last look at this one. Gentlemen, Harper has to be happy with this win. Talk about making your presence felt in the match. Wow, what a win. Matches like that are the reason why I love this job so much.
undefeated run in NXT. NXT Women's Champion. A title she relinquished willingly to head to Monday Night Raw. One of the most dominant female superstars ever in WWE. All hands on deck. Please walk the plank, Byron, please. And from Yamaguchi, Japan, the Raw Women's Champion, Kyrie. Plenty of action coming up as we have six of WWE's top names ready to go here. Oh man, Michael, six man matches like this always remind me of world class back in the 1980s. Tamina is a scary woman. And their partner from Pacific Island, Tamina! That is a scary human being. WWE's resident Mean Girls under the bright lights on the big stage exactly where the Iconics belong. trusted sources. Oh, I believe that. This is iconic. The Australian duo have taken WWE by storm and shown no sign of slowing down. Two ladies who have no... The Irish Flash Kicker! And their partner from Dublin, Ireland. What a career Becky Lynch has had so far here at WWE. A young lady who has prided herself on being different. A young lady who has prided herself on thinking outside the box. And she has taken that mentality to tremendous success here at WWE. Becky Lynch should be prosecuted for improper use of the metal horn out here dressed like something out of an H.G. Wells novel.
Byron, you want to know just how confident Peyton Royce is of her abilities? In 2016, she was one of the very few women brave enough to actually call out Asuka. Uh, keep in mind, though, Michael, Peyton wasn't by herself when she called out Asuka. She had Billy Kay by her side. It's not like Peyton was looking for a one-on-one -on -one battle. Guys, it'll be interesting to see if these two teams of three can really coexist. When you have that many egos on the same team, sometimes things don't go quite as planned. Byron brings up a great point that I should have mentioned. Peyton's bravado certainly intensified when Billy Kay was by her side. Strength in numbers, there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, I encourage it. Just go back and look at what the Iconics were able to do together when they ambushed Asuka in the parking lot. So much damage inflicted. of the neck. German! Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. six-man tag match where the hostility between two teams overflows. The result is complete chaos and all six superstars duke it out inside and many times outside the ring. It's complete and total chaos. However, if you're one of the legal competitors in the ring during that time, you must return to the ring before the referee's 10 count or risk being counted out and lose the match for your team. Byron, you talked about the moment in six-man tag matches when all semblance of order breaks down. Many times, the two teams are so determined to tear each other apart that they don't pay attention to who the legal person in the ring is or where the referee is in their 10 count. That's a huge mistake. In the throes of battle, superstars lose their composure in what was a six-man tag match, breaks down into a Pier 6 brawl. And if you don't keep an eye on the referee's count, you could get counted out and be the reason your team loses the match. I can see Byron making that mistake and ruin it for everybody. In 2016, the New Day found themselves in the middle of a sick and twisted rivalry with the Wyatt family. Things escalated to the point where Bray Wyatt invited the New Day to do battle at the Wyatt family compound. New Day accepted, but what followed was something no one expected or will ever be able to forget. Tamina now in defensive mode. She's got two very capable partners in her corner. Now might be a good time to bring one of them in. Corey, we've talked about six-man tag matches, and earlier you talked about one that caught the attention of the entire sports entertainment world. The New Day fought for survival amongst the darkness of the Wyatt family compound in a battle where pickaxes and cinder blocks were used as weapons and automobiles were used as battering rams. The New Day versus the Wyatts at the Wyatt family compound was not your traditional six-man tag match. But it showed what can happen when issues between factions can't be resolved through a sanctioned WWE match. I'll tell you what, none of the men who fought in that conflict will ever be the same. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. to tag Becky Lynch into the ring. And she turns it around on her. Batista! What a spear from the animal! Oh, 
nasty impact. Look at her go. Becky Lynch just too fast for her. Now it. Corey, tell me, just how much strength is carrying your opponent around like this take? Let's put it this way, Cole. Saxton would never be able to do it. She's taking on some offense here. Oh, and man. a comment that she came into this six women's tag team match seems to be fading a bit. You sound surprised, Cole. Come on, think about who she's in there with. This was bound to happen sooner or later. How she responds to this is going to be very important moving forward. She simply cannot let it take her out of her game plan. She is on fire. She shows signs of life. She's showing a lot more than that. This is where all it takes is one move and your opponent can gain the upper hand. That could be a game changer. And look at the quickness by saying. No, she's too quick for her. Irish whip. An impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budging, Cole. What a slam. Impactful. Will jar your spine. We might just see it here. There it is. She's made the tag. And her partner is on absolute fire right now. Hard landing there. Nothing to worry about. Just a little misstep on her part. Pick the leg. Oh, man. That'll tear your hamstring. She might have harsh impact. Oh, it's over. Man, I wonder. Beautiful technique. She's dominating now. Gentlemen, I think Kyrie Sane may have just secured this match. Look at her go. No, she breaks it. Wow, she's quite the escape artist, Michael. She's not careful. Things can get out of control in a hurry. Uh, I think they're about to. When it comes to Peyton Royce's opinion of herself, I partially agree with Corey. Yes, she should have self-confidence, but to call herself Ike is all but over. We're looking at complete domination here. She's countering nicely now. Yeah, a second ago, she was almost done. This might be it! Oh, my! She's looking a little unsteady. She's got two partners in the oh. I knew it was only a matter of time. Man, I wonder. Boom! <laughs> Got all of that one, that's for sure. And she breaks free. I don't know how she did it, but that was impressive. Both teams working well here together. That's not always the case in a six-man tag team match. Oftentimes, you'll see personal agendas eat their way into the action. This could spell the beginning to the end for her here in this six-man tag team match. I think this one's over. Kyrie Sane needs a comeback, but the Pirate Princess has what it takes to right the ship. I wish someone would shoot you with a cannonball, Byron. I wish I could tell you guys what this superstar thinks of this week's power rankings, but when I asked, the only thing I got was a no comment. Oh, nasty impact. That'll mess up the back of your neck. I think we're going to get the tag. Oh, and she makes the tag. And not a moment too soon, Michael. And she goes down hard. That'll leave a mark. She dodges that one. Oh, what a German 
and suplex. What a strike. Oh, man, she's rolling now. on fire inside the ring now he's turning the tables they ain't turned yet still got some work to do than hurt, because when you see it on Asuka's face, it usually means bad, bad things are headed your way. Hey, Asuka. Becky Lynch, Exploder Suplex. That's called making a statement, Cole. I think that slam caught us all off guard. Some good technique right there. Hooked up, and a oh, nice belly to back. That could be a game changer. Becky Lynch just too fast for her. Nailed it. Nobody wants to face Oscar when she's rolling. Oh, and she gets fooled by that one. Yeah, there's no staying on your feet after something like that. Oh, sliding hip attack. Game set. She goes for the cover. She kicks out of that one. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. Going to have a hard time stopping Becky when she's doing this. Ooh. There it is. Shoulders down. Is it enough? Referee barely had time to begin a count there. Yeah, Becky Lynch's heart continues to be loud and strong. Staying alive in style here. Both arms hooked. Oh, backslide for the victory. This could be it. The result this woman is showing right now is absolutely unreal. Might have slipped there, Cole. Oh, that was a vicious shot. Oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. Oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. Tagged in. Asuka's looking beaten down, guys. I don't know how much more punishment she can take. You know, when you step into the ring opposite three of the most dominant women on the roster today, things like this are bound to happen. I don't know how these women are finding it within themselves to power through here. This is amazing. She goes for the cover. Gets the shoulder. Wow. What's it going to take? Wow. I thought for sure that was it. And Asuka was able to get out of the way there. Beautiful technique. Uh-oh. She's looking at it. And Peyton Royce is fading fast here, guys. I'm not so sure she even knows where she is at this point. Given her condition right now, it'll be interesting to see if she attempts to try and take care of business herself. Yeah, she's in a very bad spot here. I don't know how much more of this she can take. We could see a tap out. It's locked in. Asuka can win it here. When she gets in attack mode, look out. Oh, and she gets out of the way. We've got to be nearing an elimination soon here, guys. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. There may be no preventing the... Look out. There's the tag. And that changes the entire outlook for these women, Michael. 
Pick the leg. Oh, man. That'll tear your hamstring. Ooh, that kick could be a game changer. Exhaustion setting in. I can tell you this is not how she envisioned this match going, guys. At this point, you have to wonder if her partners are starting to regret teaming up with her. I'm just saying. Paige Royce is able to get out of the way there. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Peyton Royce. Suplex. Great usage of her hips. Another one. Could the third time be the charm, Byron? I think so. Perfect. What? Look at this. One, two, digging deep for a kick out. She's still in this one. Oh, man, she's rolling now. working well here together. That's not always the case in a six-man tag team match. Oftentimes, you'll see personal agendas eat their way into the action. At some point, the referee may want to think about stopping this one before somebody gets seriously injured. What's keeping Tamina in this match? Barely hanging in there. The six-man match may have taken it all out of her. This could be the end of the road for her here, guys. But then again, you could probably say the same about her opposition. Look at her go. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Dangerously close to getting counted out. Definitely cutting it close, Michael. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, do it! Oh, an apron leg drop! Decapitation. Here she goes, back in the ring now. Oh, no. We know what this is. This might be it! Oh, my. Now it's time to capitalize. Your whole body hurts after a move like that. She goes for the cover. Two! Three! What a six-man tag match. And here's another peek of the moves you saw in that match. Man, oh man, look at that. Who could forget this? She's taking care of business. don't enjoy watching her perform, there's something seriously wrong with you. Here are your winners, Peyton Royce, Billy Kay, and Becky Lynch. What a back and forth battle that was. That is what I like to call a statement win, Michael. What a great match we just saw here on Raw. Thank you to everybody at home for choosing to spend part of your Monday night with us.
most incredible athletes to ever set foot in Monday Night Raw. Finn Balor, first ever Universal Champion. This man is an enigma with a profound skill set that we have never witnessed before. champion Finn Balor ladies and gentlemen is for real a truly global superstar a phenomenon amongst the WWE universe Finn Balor posted on so Level. I'm so glad to finally 
certainly have the honor to call one of AJ Styles' matches. No one ever thought he'd ever make it here to WWE. But now, here the phenomenal one is, ready to compete on Raw. He is eccentric, oh, and he's like no other superstar to enter a WWE ring. The resident artist around here, this is Shinsuke Nakamura. Byron, are you okay? Why are your hands shaking like that? I'm just excited. And whichever team wins this match here tonight can absolutely make an argument for being one of WWE's top teams. Ooh! Harsh impact. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Oh, perfect kick. Oh, what a kick. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who have dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adverse. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has suddenly shifted here, Michael. Close line! Nakamura seems to have lost a step now. I don't think he expected wow. to be in this position here. Well, it's not dire consequences for him here, which is good. Ouch. But just in case, he might want to think about getting his partner in there for a bit. This match is so evenly Man. contested right now that it's almost impossible to pick a winner. I guess we'll just have to settle in and enjoy the action. letting everyone know exactly how he feels. AJ Styles with a nice reversal. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. The Irishman has his Irish up. Oh, he turns it around. Styles, Styles rolls through. Tap pressure. But he's got to capitalize now. He gets it with a reversal. Swing blade. Nicely done. AJ Styles looking a little out of his element. You don't see that very often. Headed into this match, he and his partner looked extremely competent. It's no secret that quick tags lead to success in the tag team division. And I'd say the quicker he can make that tag here, the better their chances of winning will be. Uh-oh. In position. Look out. Here it comes. Oh, almost through the turnbuckle. He might just win this thing right here. Finn Balor can draw the curtains on this one. This is where Finn Balor's at home. Uh-oh, here comes the phenomenal one. Oh! And 
Finn Balor slips out of harm's way. Extraordinary elusivity. Finn Balor is simply not looking good at all here. This could be the end of him at any moment right now. This is all but over. Yeah, this is hard to watch now. I mean, he is taking quite a beating in there. A backdrop suplex. This might be it. Oh, my. Looks like he has other plans here. I think he was just looking to soften him up a little here. All right, AJ Styles with a burst of energy. Up handle applied. He's making a statement here with this attack. Tagged in. Styles beginning to peter out here. And at this point, how much more does he have to give? Why he's still in the match at this point is beyond me, guys. Maybe he forgot it's a tag team match. I don't know. There's got to be some explanation. Another great tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. Styles looking to end this thing. Kohina Clutch! Kohina Clutch! Kohina Clutch! This one's over, Byron. AJ's in big trouble now. He releases it. And you can debate whether or not that would have been the end. Interesting decision there. And it's reversed. Uh-oh. Here it is. Styles Clash. But I don't know. Here's the cover. Two. A kick out before three. Never a doubt that Samoa Joe would survive that one. AJ Styles is getting ready. I don't think he's got it. And he finds a way free. Wow, that was just pure determination, Cole. What a reversal by AJ Styles. Styles is always thinking. Right to the back. Shinsuke Nakamura just too fast for him. It's like trying to fight smoke. Thinking about some tag. Oh, nasty impact. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Joe is in position. And there's the Yurinagi. Landed him. This is all but over. A lot of pride on the line here in this tag team encounter. But only two of these competitors will end up getting what they came for. The win. Oh, what a slam that hurt! I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. The shoulders are down. He's not done fighting yet. How in the world? When this guy's on, look out. Oh, the reversal by MJ Styles. Inverted power slam. Wow. The king of strong style with a massive slam. Shinsuke Nakamura. Samoa Joe isn't looking so hot, guys. There we go. Too quick for him there. Samoa Joe is looking to end this thing. Kohina Clutch! Kohina Clutch! Kohina Clutch! This one's over, Byron. You simply can never count out Samoa Joe. Momentum is fully in the corner of Samoa Joe now. Uh-oh. This just ain't gonna do it. 
Nice job breaking out of that one. But there's plenty more work for him to do here. Boom! <laughs> he dodges out of the way. He's getting closer, Court. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Takes him down hard. You gotta love that kind of aggression. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. AJ Styles moved out of the way there. Takes him down in a major way, too. Submission move coming up. Oh, it's locked in. To think, I almost wrote him off earlier. And that's twice now. There's the pin. Two. Oh, how resilient was that? I can't believe it. He just won't go away. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Finn Bauer. AJ Styles with a nice reversal. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. Booty Bras! AJ's in big trouble. He's got the shoulders down. Two! Gets the shoulder up loud. What's it going to take? Ow! Ow! These superstars have tried everything. They have something left in their arsenal. They have to, but can they dig down deep enough to find it? This is not the place where you want to underestimate your competition. Absolutely not. AJ Styles with a nice reversal. Oh boy, he is rolling. What a reversal by AJ Styles. Styles is always thinking. Ushiguroshi. This one's over, guys. Shoulders on the back. Two. Perhaps feeling a little more comfortable on the outside at this point. I think AJ Styles is done playing. I think we know what this is. Oh, flying forearm. That'll turn your lights out. Game, set, match. This one is over. Yeah, there's... he could pin his opponent right here. One. Oh, wow. Kick. You gotta believe this one's over. Nailed it. And that one drops him. Somebody's on a mission tonight. Oh, the reversal by AJ Styles. And Finn Balor slips out of harm's way. Extraordinary elusivity. Styles looking to end this thing. Styles clash. That should help him to end it here. This is it. Three. They did it. They won the match. And here's another glance at these superstars in action. Almost forgot about this one. He's getting it done here. Check him out here. And I always enjoy watching him perform. Exciting tag team match in the book. When you put these two together, victory is really the only plausible outcome. What a matchup that was. Truly really incredible.